At ease, soldiers. Sergeant Nick Fury here. Hope everybody's got over their shock of not having a um, solo task force challenge on our Ghost Recon, but we're going to work on coming up with some for you guys. So what I want to talk about this morning, obviously, is the new update 182 for the division and the new features that we're going to go ahead and check out this morning, which are shields. Shields are a group of 12 unique collections that reward both long-term and new players for completing challenges in the game. Earn a shield will reward the player with a shield cache that contains a selection of valuable items and currency bundles. Now, earning multiple shields unlocks exclusive rewards for use in Tom Clancy in the Division 2. Shields, the shields feature can be found in the first tab of the dossier. Initially, four shields will be available for players to earn. Subsequently, an additional shield will become available each month. Now, they have an agent reactivation cache they're going to give us right now. So make sure you take advantage of it because it's only going to go on until July the 5th. And it's going to have three standard gear sets, weapon, high-end gear, mods, and a currency cache consisting of cipher keys, Phoenix credits, and division tech. Which is three cipher keys, 2,000 Phoenix credits, and 500 division tech. Returning agents and as well as agents reaching level 30 for the first time are welcome to jump right in action. New audio, 12 new audio logs. Okay, so those are the tie into the shield challenges. New patches. Okay, 12 new patches. New legendary missions. Everybody, we're going to do Madison Square Gardens probably today, and General Assembly maybe. Phoenix credit limits has been raised from 5,000 to 8,000. Great, so now I'm going to tell me when I have 8,000 Phoenix credits that I got to go spend nothing on. Game changes. Okay, big one. Predator's Mark. Hitting 10 shots without switching targets and not apply the Predator's Mark bleed, which makes the target bleed for 50% of the damage already done by those bullets. Damage over time target is increased by 15% for every 3,000 stamina. So make sure you get your stamina up to 9,000. Correct? Because when you're at 9,000, the damage over time bonus is increased by additional 120%. So you can really F up some people. Okay. Path of the Nomad, remember they changed that too. 50% chance of having no cooldown for Path of the Nomad when playing solo. And take 60% less damage 10 seconds after the Path of the Nomad is triggered. Tactician, you no longer reset when you're using elevators. And stacks will not collectively be lost upon activation. Reclaimer, Reclaimer Sports Station is now self destruct when the set is unequipped. And the gameplay, remember the Opera House, they fixed that. We'll have to go check it out. Support station is the highest ranking. Help per tick would not take priority. Issue that would cause items typically disappear from the inventory after having shared an item. Dark zone contamination event affection no longer remain active once the event has ended. Implementation of a cooldown reduces the auto snap on aim after first use, which is supposedly going to stop all the chronos. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, today and tomorrow. We'll see how many people are whining that they're getting their asses kicked by chronos users still. I can't wait so that Wheezy dude's gonna be eating shit here in a couple days when people are still using it. Oh, they're never gonna use it. Remember Cronus is dead? Yeah. Okay, global events. Descriptions have been added to the loading screen for global events. Smart bullets can now only be activated in appropriate missions. Blackout combinations are now track collectory. Underground bosses no longer drop a vendor exotic weapons. Fixed missing audio in the last stand skirmish camp clip for all non-English languages. Mission reward panels have been updated to show the correct gear score. And overlapping arm patches have been fixed when a combining roadie jacket with Ghost Recon Wildland shirt or sniper shirt. And for the full patch notes, you can go over here and you know you can read all this good stuff here, which is basically just what I read you. Okay, so this is the whole overview of what's going on. Let's go ahead and go back and get into the game here and we'll go check out some stuff real quick. I didn't want that microphone recording icon up there on my desk, on my thingy, but I have to go take that stupid thing out. I just updated my software and um, it's acting stupid again. Hey, you want to see this stuff or not? Let me see if I can take that out real quick. Readings indicate this area is safe. Since I don't need that stuff on. 
Oh, see, shield unlocked. I already uh, unlocked it. I got my reactivation cache. I unlocked the shield already. I'm rocking. I haven't done anything. I'm just standing here. What shield did I unlock already? Cool. Wait for my software to open up so I can take that little icon in the upper left corner that has like a, a timer. I'm trying to get this stupid software to open up and it's not cooperating. All right, whatever. Let me go to the terminal and see what's up. I love my new monitor, man, by the way. Oh, man. The colors on this thing is just really, really phenomenal. Of course, I guess that's, you know, when you have... You go from a regular... Well, I had a nice Samsung TV. It wasn't like it was a, it was a bad one, but... This wasn't a 4K, so this the colors on this are just totally freaking amazing. And I haven't watched any of my videos. It'd be the first video I put up to see whether or not I can notice the colors. Because I have watched other people's videos and like, man, why their colors look so good? My colors are really washed out. Okay, so let's see what we got. What do you already have? There we go. So we have. Liberate the base of operation. Cool. It's already got a patch already. Let me tell you, that Asian Phalon brought in with her is the real deal. You gotta admit it. At first, I was skeptical. Oh, great. He's another rookie who thinks they're gonna do it all themselves. Probably get roasted by the cleaners within a week. You know what I mean? Didn't happen. Kind of the opposite, really. Between you and me, you didn't see that sort of performance out of every agent. You still don't. I'm telling you, right now, I'd follow that agent into hell, or uptown, whichever comes first. I'm sure you can tell the difference at this point. I think they need to increase the audio a little bit higher. No emergency services, because the first responders have left to go help in bigger cities like ours. Power grid. Oh, so we already got a weapon, this weapon skin right here we get in the Division 2. Whatever that skin is right there. And these, you get a jacket and you get a patch. So you get four division shields to get the division shield tier two and lock. Okay, on three, we get a uh, emote and you get a backpack skin. And if you earn them all, you have I have my eyes on you. That's what it looks like. See how they hit, look like he's pointing at himself and then pointing at them. I'm watching you. Okay, so we get that, and then you get this little bear, whatever this bear thing is right here. Again, I'm assuming that's a tattoo on his arm. See this bear on his arm right here. So that's it. That's all. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I mean, you know, I'm gonna do these anyways, but. You know, all the hype, they made it sound like, you know, all right, we got this really crazy stuff. Okay, so let's get on to this. Clear 25 landmarks in the dark zone. Oh, my uh, uh, God. Okay, and then this one is complete all weekly HBTs in a single week. And this one is take out 10 named bosses in Manhattan, 10 in the dark zone, and 10 in the west side piers. Okay, so we should be able to knock all those out this morning pretty pretty darn easy. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this video up and then I'm going to come back and then we'll do another... Okay, here's your cache. Let's open this up see what we get in here. Golden Rhino, Predators, Mark Holster, a Fire Quest Acquisition Vest, 500 Division Tech, 2,000 Phoenix Credits, and a 3. So that's cool. So they give you two classes, and I already have a good Rhino already, so I don't need that. But that's pretty damn high gear score. I might use that, and I don't know if I use that. But cool. Thank you guys very much for that. Cool. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and get this video up, and then we'll all come back, and uh, we'll do some of the challenges.
Cool. So until I see you in a few minutes, as always, it's Sergeant Nick Fury. <laughs>